Hello everyone and welcome. I know you guys love lights. You can never have too many lights. So today I'm going to do another gooseneck light review. A few weeks back I did a review of what I thought was the cheapest gooseneck light on Amazon. Well today we're going to look at what I think is the best gooseneck light on Amazon. Today we'll look at this gooseneck light from Next LED which combines better features than the previous light that I reviewed and at an almost identical price. This light from Next LED literally cost $2 more than the previous light that I reviewed, but it has a longer neck, better cob LED, and a longer runtime. So let's open up this puppy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. And let's open this puppy up and see what we get. Whoa. All right, guys, so when you open this puppy up, this is what you get. Now, this is a 20-inch gooseneck light from Next LED, available on Amazon, link in description below. Now, at the making of this video, this light retails for $21.99. I got this a little cheaper than that because I got it through their Black Friday sale. And that's the one thing also that if you want to save money on Next LED products, I'm on their mailing list, so I get coupons all the time for them and for other companies, and I put them in my community tab, so check that out. If you want to save more money and get this light even cheaper, I may have a coupon there that you can use whenever you're watching this video. Anyway, so when you open the box, you get the light and the owner's manual that tells you everything about the light, how to set it up, warranty, all that kind of good stuff. It's only one page, so I suggest you read through that. So the light itself, basically what you get, the light is a 24 inch in length light. When you extend it out like this, it's 24 inches in length, which is really quite big. And the base is only one and a half inches at the base. So it's a very good size light for a lot of different things you may want to do. The light only weighs 0.58 pounds and it comes with a one year warranty. Any trouble whatsoever, contact Next LED, they'll take care of you. It comes in a very nice black anodized aluminum body. Now this light puts out 200 lumens in high mode and 80 lumens in low mode. Unlike some of the competitors out there, this one has two modes you can choose from. Some of the other ones are only on or off and that's it. The beam distance on this is 325 feet and the runtime on high mode is 8 hours and on low mode it's 20 hours. Now this light is powered by three AA batteries and you can see you open it up here at the bottom and it already comes with the little plastic cage. The batteries are not included. I just put those in right now so we can power this light up and see what it does. So let me close this back up. And let's see, now this light also has a very nice zoomable lens where you can zoom in and out so you can adjust the light however you want it to work. And the switch to turn it on and off is on the light itself up here at the top. Instead of some of the competitors, it's on the bottom over here. So you can pick and choose whatever is more convenient for you. The color temp on this light is 5000K, which is like daylight type of lighting. So it's very convenient, not that cold, uncomfortable white light. Like I said, the base is very large, 1.5 inches, which is again, bigger than most of the competitors. And to give you an honest comparison to how it works, here is the one, the light that I did previously. And you can see the difference between the two lights. The base on the next LED is bigger than that one. You can see putting them side by side. This one is a much bigger base than that one, giving you more stability and a stronger magnet. The gooseneck is much longer on the next LED. You can compare the two right there side by side and you see which one gives you a much longer light. The next LED is way, way longer. It's about 17 inches, just the neck alone, where this one is half that size. So much, much smaller. This one, the other one, also has a much larger head, which could be difficult to get into certain places depending on the job you're trying to do. The next LED has a very compact head, making it very easy to get into different areas for inspection. If you want to look at tight little areas that you need to get the light deep in there and you don't have a lot of room to work with. So that's something to consider right there. Now, 
The next LED light, this light right here, is IP54 waterproof rated, so you can use it indoors or outdoors, no trouble whatsoever. The operating temperature on this light is from minus 25 degrees centigrade to 40 degrees centigrade, so that's pretty high right there. Pretty much the entire gamut, whatever you're doing from very cold to very hot, you can take care of it. So this light is excellent to use like on your workbench, as an inspection light, automotive repair, machinery light, barbecue light, all that kind of good stuff. Pretty much whatever you need, it's up to your imagination. This light can be very, very handy and useful for you. So we're going to take a look at some ways that you can use this light and see how handy it comes in for all sorts of different projects. But one thing I wanted to talk about also is one of the things I noticed when looking at their Amazon page, somebody made a comment down there that they didn't like the light because it was unstable. They said it did not stand up on its own. When you stood it up like that, it would tip over. None of these lights ever stay up. None of these gooseneck lights will ever stay up on their own when you bend it over like that. None of them. See how this one doesn't? Look at this other one. It doesn't stay up either. None of them ever stay up on their own. So if you have a gooseneck light, whether it's this one or any other one, if you're using it on a magnetic base, it'll definitely stay up. If you're not using it on a magnetic base, you have to supply your own base to make it more stable. What you do in a case like that is you get yourself a nice piece of metal like this and then you apply it on there and bam, now you have your own base. So you can use this puppy pretty much anywhere you want, extend it out as far as you want and you make it more stable. So that I don't think is the fault of the light and that person I think was totally wrong in criticizing the light because it was not stable. Not a single one of these lights on Amazon or anywhere else will you find that is stable when it is not stuck to something magnetic because the base is not enough to balance out the long shaft that it has on it. Get yourself a nice big metal plate and you made up your own base. So there you go. All right, let's see what this puppy can do. All right, so before we start looking at different ways to use this light, let me show you some of the lighting modes right here on the bench. So I have it set up right now, and let me show you how well this lights up. So turn it on right here at the top, and as you can see right there, that works very well. If you're doing some kind of uh, work right here and you need to light it up very nicely, it gives you a good amount of light. You can also focus it on a very tight spot if you need to. So anywhere in between high or low, let me angle it this way so you can see better, whether you're angling it high or low, you can see right there, it opens up or closes depending on what you need. And that is the high mode right there. And that is the low mode. So either way makes it very convenient when you're working on something and you can select whatever amount of light you need. The high mode is very good for lighting up a lot of different things, very tight or very wide. And obviously the further up you put it, the wider it will be. I mean, look how high you can put that thing. It lights up everything right there. If you're working on a large thing right here, large project, you need some stable light. Let me turn off this one. That tells you right there, that's a good amount of lighting right there. Let me put it down there. You can see that is a very decent amount of lighting. You're working on a very small project like this. You need to light it up. You can see it right there very conveniently. So this light lights up very nicely. And there is the low mode so you can see that as well. All right, so let's go do something else with it. All right, guys, let's look at some ways where this light could be useful to you. Need to work under the dash of your car or someplace tight and difficult to get to? Put the light down, put it around you somewhere, point it up where you need it to go. The flexible gooseneck will stay in whatever position you put it in. Do your work and you move on to something different. Need to work under the hood of your car? Excellent. Hands-free. The magnet will hold on to any part of metal that you can hook it up to, point it wherever you need it to go, do your work, and keep on going. Move it to another direction, keep on going. The long gooseneck and the excellent lighting, you can focus it and work on whatever spot you need to do your work on. Need to do some plumbing repair, need to get under a sink or something like that. We all know how tight it can be under a sink. Every sink is hard to work under. Well, this light is really convenient. Point it up wherever you want it to go, light it up very conveniently, and do your plumbing work. Very good for that too. All right, guys, another thing I wanted to point out about this light before we continue is that 
This light right here, the one in the middle, is another light that I bought from Next LED a few months ago. This is their 3-in-1 light and it has a gooseneck adapter that you can put on this light. I've had this light for about 6-7 months now, something like that. And I did a review on this a while back when I got it. I'll put a link in the corner to that review so you can go watch it later if you like. If you want a gooseneck light with a rechargeable battery, you can get this 3-in-1 light. It uses an 18650 battery. And it has other adapters you can use for it and change out the gooseneck if you want. But I wanted to point that out because even this light that I'm doing right now is longer, has a longer gooseneck to it than their other light. So even this one is bigger than their other light. That tells you how big this gooseneck really is. So this one gives you a longer light for less money, but it uses AA batteries. If you want a light with more extensions, more adapters, and a rechargeable battery, check out their 3-in-1 light, which I'll put the review in the corner. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the best gooseneck light I found on Amazon. This light has a very long, very flexible gooseneck, allowing you to use it on a multitude of different projects, as you saw. It is very bright and affordable. It also has a very good warranty, and I have found Next LED to be very good lights. If you're looking for a good quality gooseneck light with a very long neck, I suggest you check out this product from Next LED. Check out their Amazon page for full details. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.